In this video, you will learn how to install Pi Audio library in a Python project in PyCharm IDE. And the installation steps which I am going to cover in this particular video will work only for the Mac systems. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. So first of all, we will open that Python project in PyCharm for which we want to install Pi Audio library. Like for me, I wanted to install Pi Audio in this Hello World project. So I have opened this particular project in PyCharm. Now to install Pi Audio, we will open up the terminal of PyCharm. And for that, we will click on this view, then tool window. And here we will select this terminal. Here you would notice that this .venv is present within these brackets. So which means that this particular virtual environment is already activated. So this is the default behavior of PyCharm where it activates the relevant virtual environment whenever we open the terminal. But let's say for any reason if it is not activated for you then do activate the relevant environment first and for that you can source the activate file and only then you have to start the installation steps. Now before installing Pi Audio, we need to install Port Audio library because it is a prerequisite library in order to install Pi Audio. And this Port Audio is an open source audio library which does the heavy lifting of interacting with the audio hardware and it manages the audio streams. And this Pi Audio library serves as a Python interface to this Port Audio library. So that is why it is the prerequisite for the Pi Audio installation. Now to install Port Audio, we will use the Homebrew package manager and in case you do not have Homebrew installed in your system, then you can install this using just one command. So this is the command which you need to run on the terminal to install Homebrew and I will share this link of this web page and the installation command as well in the description. Now once the Homebrew is installed in your system, then we will install the port audio using the command brew install then port audio so here we did not get any error so which means the port audio is installed successfully now we will run one more command which will verify whether this port audio is installed properly or not so we will run brew then list then pipe and grab port audio so if in the output you also get this port audio like me then it means the port audio library is installed properly now we are all set to finally install the pi audio in this activated environment so we will run pip install then pi audio So here we got this message successfully installed Pi Audio and this is the version of Pi Audio here which has got installed. Now it's time to verify the installation of Pi Audio whether the Pi Audio library is installed properly or not and for that we will write couple of lines of python code here. So let me first close this terminal from here. Now we will create an empty python file and for that we will click on this file then new and here select this python file. Now we will give the name of the file so let's write hello and double click on this python file so this will create this hello.py file for us now in this file first we will import this pi audio module so we will write import then pi audio and let's also print the version of port audio so i will write print then pi audio dot get port audio version this particular function now we will run this program so for that we will right click and say run hello here in the output we did not get any error so if this is successful for you also then do hit the like button and let me know if this video was helpful to you so we did not get any error here so it means the import was successful also in the output we have got the version of port audio here now the pi audio library is installed properly and using the library we can play around with the sound and perform various audio related tasks.